Hi everyone, it's 4.15 on Saturday of January the 4th. So, today I'm hoping we can finish the um, retro gaming PC build now that I have been uh, given a suitable video card by a friend of mine. He lives just up the world, up the road rather, not up the world. <laughs> up the world. Yeah, he lives just up the road here and uh, he popped over a week ago because he was having problems with his motherboard and uh, I got talking about this with him as well and he disappeared, what did he do? He disappeared back to his to get something. Uh, oh, that was a USB stick. Um, but he came back with this video card as well, it's GPU 8800GS. Great, so I have a, a decent one which I've also got the drivers for on this USB stick. Um, so I've had that a week. The only problem is, and I didn't realise this until I went to install, I've got everything set up in here, I set up the camera, it's going to film it, and then I realised I couldn't install it because I don't have a six pin power connector for the GPU. Not on that power supply. Um, so, I did get one sent to me, here it is, now this one came from someone who's part of a YouTube channel I follow almost religiously, it's called Laurie's Mechanical Marvels, so I'm going to give them a shout out because they have helped me out with the connector there. So yeah, go check them out. If I remember, I'm going to put a link down below as well. Because <clears throat> um, I'm very grateful that they've helped me out. I'm on their Discord server as well. I might uh, shove a link down there to that as well. Very friendly server. We have a good laugh on there. It's actually my, uh, my favourite server to be on on Discord at the moment. So... All that aside, let's see if we can get this working. At the moment, I've got the um, storage drive disconnected because I couldn't get this to boot earlier. It just sat on a blank screen. Um, so I don't know if this 300 watt power supply is actually man enough when this is connected. Or it could have been another issue that I was having with this that was causing it. I don't know yet, but I'm going to leave it disconnected for now. Install this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Fire it up. And hopefully... Get the video card installed. Then I can button up the side. I've got the cover, which is actually right down by the camera tripod. So it's right down by your feet. Um, I've just got an old fan on that side cover I'm going to remove because I figured I don't need it. I was going to wire it up into the fans on this, but I figured I don't need it. I've got two there, I've got two there. That's adequate enough, I think, for this sort of build. So, I'm just going to plug this in first because it's a little bit tight-fitting. I've actually had to take this out as well to move this hard drive lower. So I needed some extra room. I'm just going to take that out for a minute. And I'm going to unplug that for the moment. Because they tend to get in the way. They're not in the... The video card's not in the way when it's installed. They just get in the way of installing the video card. So... Pop this in like this. Boop. Get a screw and put the screw in to lock it into place. Like so... that worried about cable management. I have tidied my fan cables up because they were a mess. I don't know if you remember from the last video there was a big white cable going down there and the fan cables were flailing all over the place but uh, I've added an extension in for these two which now runs down here under the lip here at the bottom of the case to the front two fans where I've joined them up and just ran a nice matching wire, red and black wire, up the top here. That does flap around a bit, but I don't think there's much I can do with that because there's nothing really to, uh, well, in fact, there is nothing to cable tie it to 
I don't really want a cable tie up to this because these bays remove, so I don't want that's the locking latch for it. So I don't want a cable tie to that or that. But uh, I don't have a, you know a window on the side panel anyway, so it's not that important, I don't think, to worry about the uh, cable management. As long as it's tidy enough, and if I have to service it, I can actually see what I'm doing. Uh, I think that's all that matters. So for now, why can these SART cables be such a pain to plug on? This is number one, isn't it? Yeah. They will only go on what it's like a USB plug. They will only go on one way. But I can guarantee you'll get it around the wrong way first. Almost a guarantee. Right, power button is under here. Oh, I haven't plugged in the DVI cable. Am I on digital? No, I'm on analog. Let's flip that over. It's doing something. That beat was good. I know it's doing something when it makes that beat. Get rebooting. Get all this sorted, then I'll plug in that storage drive and we'll see if it continues to boot. Because I wasn't sure if it was that that was causing the issue. Or the fact that for some reason my two memory sticks weren't pressed in far enough. They popped out on one end without me realising and I think that's damaged the uh, the uh, dim slots that side, so I've had to use bank number two. Not a problem though. All right, plug that in. Cancel that because I know what that's for. I've got Firefox installed. If I actually get my cable here, my Ethernet cable, we can have Ethernet as well. We've sorted all that out already. It's all done. Right, we need my computer and we need F here it is this is what we need I hope seems to be um, a lot of different drivers for this video car I believe there's even right up to Windows 10 checking system compatibility agree and continue express I think that's the best way to go Finding my tools all over the place. Need to uh, sort all that out, I think. Downloading and installing. Ah, that might have been a good idea, but I did plug the Ethernet cable in then. Right, so while I was doing that, let's bring this one in. Because I want to take the motherboard out of this. Because. I'm going to put my old motherboard in it. This is going to be my um, secondary build. Poxy one, the other one. Right. Because I've got a feeling that's going to take a while to download and install that. So it'll give us something to do, won't it? Right. So where's all the cables? Where's my screwdriver? I just realised I've got my motherboard over there. My I.O. plate has gone walkies. Now I could have had a Dell server computer. But my friend wanted a motherboard and I actually don't have a spare motherboard. This one's untrustworthy, to be honest. Yes, it will post. Yes, I could probably install Windows on it and technically make a working PC with it, but... It's got that error code that it beeps at you every time you turn it on and I can't seem to get it to stop. I don't know what the problem is. I've tried, you know, um, resetting the CMOS and whatnot and that just... Nothing seems to work. I've tried different RAM, I've tried a different processor because 
another problem this has is that it's saying the processor is running hot. I mean, 94 degrees C hot. Yet, when I touch the heat sink, it doesn't feel anywhere near that. And to be honest, when I've removed the heat sink, it doesn't feel anywhere near that either. So, it's a shame, because I actually quite like this little board. I'm not going to get rid of it though. I'm going to look into it, I'm going to look into the error codes and whatnot, and, you know, see what is going on. Maybe that battery is gone. Actually, I think there's a brand new CR2032 that I put in there. Yeah, this is going to take a while. Right. That. I'm going to use the power supply that's in there. Now, the thing is, my um, IO shield was with this motherboard. <laughs> But uh, I don't know where it is now. <coughs> Scratch your throat. Um, I had a bit of a tidy up in the kitchen this morning and now I can't find it. Right, well, that might throw a spare in the works for the time being. Can't be far away. I know I've not put it in any of the cupboards or anything, it might actually... Ah! 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 I think I found it. Is that for me? Nope, wrong one. Damn! <laughs> that one's not going to fit. <laughs> I don't know what motherboard this came from then. Let's have another look. There's going to be any way out here the top of this box. Which... It isn't. I've just got a box of random crap sitting over here. It's not over here anywhere, is it? New. Oh, that's what I keep meaning to buy a new tube of uh, thermal paste. I'm almost out. Start. Does that mean that's done it already? That's the round I want for that. In that case, we will put this on hold for a bit. Put this down here as well. That's actually a good point. I haven't knocked the iron shield onto the floor, have I? So I'm good at doing that. Lucky my kid. Now what have I done with the screwdriver? On the floor. Why that's rebooting is to get this fan off. Pretty certain I put this fan on here, but I can't remember. Oh yeah, that's all working. Good. So it's done. Just got to sort that hard drive out and uh, put this side cover back on and uh, go and install it in the lounge. There we go. Ah! I might actually have to put that back on there. On the count of. It was holding this on. <laughs> uh, well, unless I've got a way, I can just stick that on there. Just put it on there like that, just blocking the hole off. Um, you know, if I take that on there, that's going to just fall off, isn't it? All right, then. I'm just going to put a couple of screws in there just to hold that together. Mm. 
Right. This might get a bit fiddly. Well, I don't remember doing this, so I I'm going to say this fan is a complete pain in the friggin' bum. Been that corner already. Hoping that was wishful thinking. <laughs> that screw would bite enough onto the hole in the metal grill to actually screw it down without needing the fan. But one of the screwdrivers on the floor again. Right, let's get that started. Let's get one more screw in. It's done, and I'm gonna shut the PC down again. I'm not gonna pull four screws in because the fan's not gonna be used anyway, so. That. Start, turn on, shut down. I cannot remember the specs off the top of my head though. I believe it's a dual core processor, but the RAM is DDR, not DDR2. I found that out the hard way as well. I thought it was DDR2 and DDR2 won't fit. Right, first things first, we'll plug this back in. If it doesn't work, then I'm going to have to uh, change the PSU in it. I still haven't found the keys for this case either. Okay, so that's good. That's good. Let that do its thing. If this works, then I'm just going to throw the side panel back on. That did last time. You see that? Right, so my theory is the 300 watt power supply is not man enough to run all that. But I'm not going to bore you to death replacing that with another one. I'll shut the camera down and whatnot. And get this cover on while I'll get, try and swap that. I just have to have a dig around in my cupboard down here, so I'm just going to pause you for a bit while I get on with that. Right, well, that was a bit of a longer pause than expected. I've been having a few minor issues, but it is in. I've taken that shelf out like I said I would. It is in, it is wired up. The only other issue I'm having USB mice will not work for some reason. I know USB ports work because I installed the drivers from that so I know they're not the issue but for some reason mice just will not work they're installing it's coming up down here you know found new hardware human interface device or whatever it is blah 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 your device is now installed and ready to use but nothing happens no, it, the mice do nothing I've tried two mice that I know for a fact work um, so at the moment I've got this PS2 mouse connected, rollerball, it's not working very well, but what rollerball mouse actually does. So I'm not sure why USB mice are not working well. Mm, I might have to check the BIOS, I might have to check a few settings, but they should work. Thinking of uh, changing my keyboard as well as I've got a big bunch of them. But everything is working. I've got it to boot with both hard drives connected. There's a ridiculously simple issue that I found when I uh, had a peek inside the um, BIOS. Um, it seems on that particular motherboard you do have to set the boot order. 
And all I'd done is put the um, SATA cables on the wrong hard drives. So what it was seeing as the first hard drive to boot from was actually <laughs> the blank drive, hence why it wasn't booting. As soon as I shut it down, swapped the SATA cables around, it booted. So, that is working, technically. Now, I thought, while we're on the subject of computers, I'll have a little look-see at the other one. Ignore that, I've got something to eat earlier. <laughs> and, uh, basically, I just want to get this as far as I can. I've got a hard drive connected, um, installed, but it's not going to be my boot drive. Because the idea of this machine is to actually build it as a, a temporary spare, if you like. Because it's quite a small case. At least for now, it's still got a perfectly good usable motherboard. Even by today's standards, so... Uh, yeah. Now, I am going to need an extra SATA cable, aren't I? Uh, this power supply lacks SATA connectors. <laughs> um, plenty of Molex, I've actually got three Molex. But uh, two SATAs. So I've got this one, which has got floppy disk drive, don't need because I'm not having one. Besides, that's all full. My, oh, yeah, that is full. I thought that's far wire for some reason for a second there. It's because of the funny angle. I was looking at it like this and it looked just like a firewall socket. Right, anyway. Um, do not want to get a fan stuck in the back? Plus, I've got this video card to go in as well. Which I'm going to need to uh, just break off this. I'll go through, I've got a big box of rollerball type mice through there and I know some of them actually work like new so I'm going to go through them in a little while and just see what I can find just for now just so I've got you know, something I can bloody use something is better than nothing All right, just find a couple that's too small a slightly larger thread. Oh bugger, I left my screwdriver through there. Oh, my man. Got a spare one. Got me red one. I think my other red one is still down in my brother's office. Because he lacks magnetic screwdrivers and he was getting extremely frustrated. Um, about a week or so ago when we were upgrading his PC with the Ryzen board. Um, what he used to have, he used to have some tiny little neodymium magnets that he stuck on the screwdriver to make it magna magnetic, but uh, they've both disappeared so he's not happy about that. But I came to the rescue because I had a big bunch here. So not need power supply on that one do I? Nope. It's only a little one gig video card, I think it's GDDR3, so it's not brilliant, but that'll do for now. Do I find something a bit better to put in it, maybe? I've got all my wires connected. Uh, so all I need is another two SAR connectors, which is why I've got that box down. Sort out the connections for the front fan. I actually thought I had more than one chassis fan connection on this motherboard, but I don't. So I haven't actually connected that fan yet because I don't know what fan I'm going to put on the rear here. I might need to use another adapter which I've actually got. Push comes to shove. I can just wire a fan onto this. It's not a problem. Shouldn't need to. I've got quite a few uh, decent fans. A bit big. I'll leave the next one down from 120mm. And I've totally forgotten what size that is. <laughs> that big <laughs> and it's got to go sometimes they have the airflow direction on them and sometimes they do not but 
believe it's that way. And it always blows air towards the base. It's weird because it should actually. Oh, I think this is 120 mil out of a power supply. This one's got that little. Though I may have actually put that connector on myself. <laughs> but does this have airflow? It does. Yeah, I was right. It blows that way. We'll try and remember that. But that cable is far too short to go to the motherboard. But it doesn't matter because I can use that other. I can use that adapter. I'm just going to have a the hard drive coolers here. Does anyone ever use these anymore? You just used to bolt these to the underside of your hard drive and that to keep them cool. I like two of them actually. I don't know why because I don't think anyone ever uses them now. <laughs> I've never used them, in all honesty. Let's just see if I had a fan that size that actually had a Molex connector on it before I go wiring crap in but it doesn't look like it looks like I don't even have one with a longer wire on it so it's gonna have to be that one although it is rather filthy oh. I had that back I buried it that's what I was looking for Ah, oh, that's right, it's all cleaned off. Now, unfortunately, my fan screws are all down at once. I think here, all I've got is two. I've got one here. I'm actually going to put that fan connector in here. Actually, no, I'm not, because I can use that to connect all sorts of things if I wanted to. Let's put it there. Oh, balls. <laughs> Get up here again and just have a quick sort out. I think I'll have to bring the ladder in here and do that before I put that up. Oh, sugar. I'm going to get these laptop hard drives out of here because I need to be stacked in differently. Because uh, if I don't put them in there right, the cupboard door hinge squishes them and I don't want them damaged. So. Soldier of Fortune Gold Editions. I think my brother might end up with some um, PC games. I found one double of a Soldier of Fortune game I've got, which is on the lounge floor, and I think that one's a double as well. Right, anyway. This ain't getting the baby a new hat, is it? <laughs> right. Got that up there. Ah! A nice short SATA cable. Which is exactly what I need for this hard drive. I don't want a bloody long one. The thing is, can I figure... Set up. Unplug the ROM drive because I don't need that plugged in at the minute. Then that gives me some room to get in here. This short cable. I'm going to get... 120 gig SSD to put in this as I do want it to technically be a usable PC right so that's installed I'm going to leave the ROM drive disconnected because I'm going to need the hand room to get the SSD in so actually what I could do is plug the um, SATA cable in now now what colour shall I have for the SATA um, Hard drive is the short black one, DVD drive is the long black one, so I'll know which one's which there. Don't really want to use another black one, I don't think I really need one this bloody long, do I? Um, I'm hoping I can get an adapter that will sit in here, that will drop, you know, this three and a half inch bay down to two and a half inch. So I can put the um, SATA drive in there. Because otherwise it's just going to have to, I don't know, flap about somewhere. Because this case 
It's not a modern case, it's quite old this one. So it hasn't actually got a mount for an SSD, I don't think. No, there's nothing here. I don't think that will tuck in there. It might actually tuck up there to be honest, but I'll try and do it the least bodgy way by getting an adapter. I'll have a look on eBay later when I get bored. Um, right. Ideally, again, I don't want a cable. That's going to be ridiculously long. Definite maybe. If I could. <laughs> yeah. Might be now. I'm going to go with that one for now. I think it's actually good deal. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to go for this little red one for now. Tuck that through there, that should actually be plenty long enough. Oh yeah, it goes to about there, so back of the SSD should come to somewhere that yeah, that's plenty long enough. Okay, good. Now I can get the uh, DVD drive connected up again. I'll turn that plug up the other way. Oh, unplug that. Doesn't matter, it's not unplugged from the board. was up the right way. Right. Let's plug the hard drive back in. It's not a very snug fitting cable to be honest. I'm going to lay that in the back in the bottom here just so I've got a longer one if I need it. If I don't need it I can just chuck it back in this box. Right. An adapter here, a nice Molex adapter. That adapts Molex. Well, still got the Molex there, but it adds two more SATA connectors. Because uh, I'm just going to need them down here. That's all connected. It's got power going to it. Via this one, I can just tuck those out of the way. You know, I never used to be antsy about cable management, but just lately I am, for some reason, <laughs> really freaking antsy about it. Right. Um, just bear with me, I've got to think this through, because... Nope, that is okay. I was thinking of putting where is it? There's a, an adapter for that fan on this worktop somewhere. But I'm not going to use it on that fan, I'm going to use it on the rear fan, so that's okay. Because I'll need to access the Molox connector. So, plug power in here. No point cable tidying those, because. Uh, I'm going to have to pull them around again to oh, sort them out when I put the SSD in right. Actually, is it over here? No, it's got to be on the worktop somewhere. That fan. There it is. This little bundle of joy here. Look, that's someone's bundled up. That's how I took it out of the front there. another screw laying around on the worktop somewhere it was around here. If not I do know I have got a couple of fan screws kicking around. But I've got some pots of my 
screws and standoffs and things down at Mum's. Well, my brother's been using them, I just haven't bought them home yet. I really do need to do that. I really need to sort this out. Probably got a fan screw hiding in here, actually. I've, got, I've even got bicycle nuts in here, look. Ooh, some nice anodized pink screws and blue, actually, and a green one. I could get very decorative with the case if I so wished. In fact, you know what, because I've got to put side covers on here. I have actually got four pink ones in here, so there we go. Because <laughs> I keep tripping over the side panels and it is getting on my tits. In fact, that's a green one. Uh, that green one's a bit long though. That's a shame. There's another pink one. Is that a red one? No, it's a pink. Oh, that's a long green one as well. Oh, I do have a couple of blue. There we go. I'll put two blue one side. And two pink the other. There we go. <laughs> Might as well make use of them. Knowing me, I've probably knocked said screw onto the floor. Yeah, there's one computer screw, but not the one I'm looking for. <laughs> Typically. Uh, hmm. It's not hiding under here, is it? Well, not. I had two over. Hiding under all these cables. It was up here somewhere. Right. Two screws are going to be enough to hold this for the time being. In fact, two screws are usually enough anyway. So long as this isn't one of those fans that when you start it up it's going to rattle like hell. In which case, I'll just end up changing it. <laughs> so that has just got to connect. Like that. Now I can get my side panels on temporarily. I've got two here. Well, so it's got a Windows 7 CLA on it, so I presume that's what this was running. I presume the whole reason it was got rid of was because the motherboard was playing up. find it's easier to do that to get the side covers on if you can lay the computer on its side to do it do that do it that way so pink for left side somewhere I've got a bunch of um, finger screws that I could use in that side which when I found them I will swap them over to that, but for now, I'm just going to screw everything in. And uh, hopefully, in the next couple of weeks, I'll order the SSD and the other bits I need for this and uh, crack on. In fact, I'm going to order a couple of SSDs when I do order it because uh, I've got a couple of projects I want them for. There's a couple of laptops I want to upgrade to SSD. I can hear my neighbour's TV and that's unusual actually. I don't know if I've done something to upset him so he's cranked the volume up. I can't see what. But it is rare that uh, I can hear his TV. And there we go. Ugh. If I wanted to I could actually add a fan there as well because there's the four mountain holes. I might do that. I might see what I've got and wire something up. Might be easier. Anywho. That's it for this video, so start work on the next project.
don't know what it is, but I really like this little case. Anyway, XP build is finally done, apart from the mouse issue. And uh, that's it. So thanks a lot for watching, everyone. That's better, you can actually see my face. <laughs> and uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.